How to launch a successful social media campaign. If you're hoping to make a splash with your next campaign, today we're talking all about what makes a memorable and cash flowing social media campaign. First of all, let's get this out of the way. There is one giant mistake that people make with any big launch and I don't want you to fall victim to it. So we're gonna talk about that in just a moment. And after we talk about what not to do, I wanna show you the four components that are absolutely necessary to any great social media campaign. And we wanna keep that engagement rate up throughout your amazing campaign. So let's also get into the types of posts you should make to keep your audience engaged and hanging by your every word. My marketing agency has built six figure launches for myself and our clients. And from that experience, I wanna share with you the biggest mistake that people make in any launch. Here's what it is. You don't wanna just create a thing and say, it's ready on launch day. That's a great way to launch to an audience of crickets. It's pretty much the equivalent of just asking someone to marry you on the first date. You want to court your audience instead. You want to get them familiar with you and your message and your content before you propose. So it's ideal to create an entire marketing plan for your social media, your emails with teasers, an announcement, a countdown, etc. Whether it's Facebook lives or graphics or posts, you want to start generating leads in anticipation of what's to come. My friend Steven Larson shared this story with me that I'm now going to share with you that you should compare your launches to what Hollywood is doing. Think about the big blockbuster movies that hit the silver screen. How do they do that? Do they just spend months or years making this movie and put it up in the theater and go, it's ready. No, they have billboards down every road. The stars of the movie do a huge talk show circuit, talking about the movie and sharing their experience and giving little sneak peeks of what they can look forward to in the movie. They have a big red carpet premiere and people know about the movie months or even a year before it comes out. I personally remember seeing Star Wars promos like more than a year before it came out, but it got me excited to see it when it came out a year later. So keep that in mind when you're creating your marketing plan. How are you building that anticipation? How are you rolling out the red carpet? Or are you launching to crickets? I'd love to hear from you. What do you use to create your marketing plan? Do you use Google Sheets, Asana? I wanna hear your favorite platform to create this and what your process is. Share it with us in the comments below. From my experience building six-figure social media campaigns, there's four components that are necessary for any campaign. The first one, like I mentioned, teasers. These are going to build a ton of anticipation and even some FOMO around the launch. Yes, fear of missing out. We want our audience to feel like I need to know what's happening. It builds this huge hype. So we let them know that something is coming and we even tease what it's going to create for them, whether it's going to solve a problem for them or get them excited or entertained. But we do this without telling them exactly what the thing is. So you hint that it's something that they've been asking for or something that they've needed, something that they've been waiting on. We also draw this out a little bit so it keeps building building this pressure. They can't wait to know they're so excited they're on the edge of their seat. So finally, when we tell them it releases the pressure like a huge relief, and then there's a huge rush to hopefully sign up or buy the thing that you're launching. And that's where number two comes in the big announcement. This is finally letting them in on the secret and over delivering on the value that you've built up to. This is really important that you don't want to be one of those people that you're like, I have this big announcement, something big is coming. And then the announcement just like totally fizzles and it's not actually exciting. Make sure that you actually have lead up that's building that hype and over delivers on it, has big value for it that they feel like it was worth the wait. Number three is your engagement. So typically after we've made this announcement, if you're maybe selling something online, we call this an open cart period, meaning that the cart is open until a certain date that then the cart closes. This is where maybe you highlight people who have signed on or opted in or joined you. You can even include polls or prizes or giveaways to keep people excited about it. It can also be really helpful to theme your launch so you have a jumping off point for content creation in this area. And number four, one of my favorite strategies we use is called the don't miss the bus strategy and BUS is an acronym for bonus, urgency, and scarcity. We wanna give our audience some FOMO. We wanna let them know what they're missing out on by not taking this offer. So we wanna give them a glimpse of what they can get when they take action fast. So the don't miss the bus strategy is about giving them a reason to act fast. So what we do is we include bonuses for people who sign on quickly. We install some urgency and scarcity so that they have a reason to act fast instead of waiting. If you just say like, hey, this thing is available and it's available infinitely whenever you want, they can go, oh, I'll do it next week. 
but then your competitor who actually does give them a reason to act fast is gonna be the one that wins their business. So I'll give you some examples of how you can implement this. You can include a fast action bonus. Maybe you say for people who sign up in the first half an hour or 24 hours, you're also going to get this and you give them maybe uh, a breakthrough strategy intensive or you give them a discount or something that incentivizes them to move quickly. You can also install urgency by maybe only having a particular window that people can sign up for this. So maybe it's something like the cart is only open for 48 hours. You have to sign up in this 48 hours. That way they know if I wait until 49 hours, I'm gonna miss out and that gives them that FOMO. And then you can install scarcity by maybe only having a certain capacity that you can fulfill. Think of like concert tickets. When your favorite performer comes to town, you know that there's only a certain amount of seats available in that stadium and you gotta act fast before they sell out. So if you can have scarcity and real scarcity, I'm not telling you to do any false scarcity. You don't say I only have 10 spots, but you actually accept 12. Make it real, make it accurate, because you can even offend people if people catch on that it's false scarcity. So if you can only fulfill for 10 people, make sure you actually have only 10 spots available and you close the cart when it's been filled. I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite ways to gamify your launches, which has been the difference between a five-figure launch and a six-figure launch for us. But before I do, have you subscribed to this channel yet? If you wanna bring your business closer to infinite cash flow with evergreen content and incredible offers, go ahead, hit that red subscribe button to be notified every time I upload one of these trainings. You want to make sure that after you make this big announcement in your campaign, it doesn't just fizzle out and the engagement die after people know what the thing is. So I'm going to share with you some of the things you can post in order to encourage engagement. It can be very simple to have polls and questions in your Facebook group to spark engagement. That's where you're asking people very specific things that are going to result in specific answers where they can share their opinions or their excitement. So that's always the simplest thing that you can do. But one of my favorite things to do is gamify wherever possible. Gamification can encourage some friendly competition or also encourage these individuals to boost their status with the behaviors that they're taking as part of your launch. So one of the things that we like to do is create milestones, leaderboards, bonuses. Again, this is encouraging friendly competition and support from the community. For example, we have a program called the VIP code. And when we launched this, we showed that people could earn awards and rewards every time they completed something within the platform. The public response to the gamification was huge. When people People would complete their milestones they would get these little pins and they'd show them these shiny pins that they could get on a lanyard and it was funny because I would make the joke of I don't want you to get shiny object syndrome and do these things that don't matter I'm literally going to send you shiny objects and what happened was people would get so excited to earn these little pins and then they'd also share their pins on social media they'd take a picture or a selfie when they receive them which shows their status and how much they're winning but then also promoted our program. This was huge to get so much engagement and also FOMO from the people that weren't involved to feel like I need to join this so I can get in on that fun and on that action too. If you're ready to take your content marketing to the next level with a one day a month strategy that drives leads for life, I'd love for you to click on the link below and reserve your spot in my next free training. I'm gonna be teaching you the exact strategies that my six, seven, and eight figure clients use to maximize their cash flow through online content and you could be next.